hi there linda here welcome back to my youtube channel in case if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video my name is linda and i film videos from lagos nigeria currently so in this tutorial i will show you how to style your street wig preferably if it's a blonde cut wig you want to style it into a bob this tutorial right here is very necessary for you so first things first i'm going to start sectioning off the hair by sectioning off i mean cutting the hair in smaller sections i'm going to take out the upper part of the hair and clip it away with my hair clip when i clip away one side of the wig i'm also going to reach out for the other side of the wig and also clip it away when styling your wig you want to work with very small sections that's the reason why you would need a hair clip to allow you section off a part of your hair to enable you work with smaller sections starting from the back of your wig so let's say you're working on somebody's head you want section of the upper part of the person's hair and start with the back this is the argan oil i'm using for this tutorial it's a moroccan argan oil serum i applied a bit on my hand and i'm going to massage that oil all over the hair that i left behind back here so next after applying the moroccan argan oil serum i'm going to reach out for my heat protectant spray there are various heat protectant sprays that are available in the market i've done a review of various heat protectant sprays that i recommend on my channel so check out my playlist on my hair tutorial for hair tutorials on various heat protectant sprays that you can use and for the hair straightener i'm using to straighten this hair right here it's the cloud nine hair straightener i did a review of this hair straightener on my channel so if you haven't caught that video go check it out so back to the tutorial so you can see after i apply the argan oil serum and the heat protectant spray what i'm doing right now is working with a section of the hair um, i didn't cut the hair in a small section now you notice that when i style the hair this way i'm not getting a perfect straight look it's sort of it's straightening but it doesn't look flawless so the best way to achieve the best straight look you want for your wig is to work in very small sections very small sections yeah i know it's going to take time but this is the best way i show you start with the first line that the weft was sewn on then as you walk with the first line you start moving towards the middle side and the other side of the hair walk with small sections this way you're able to straighten the hair from the very top of the weft to the tip of the weft and also bob it inwards towards the end of the hair because if you're trying to achieve a bob look you need to straighten it from the weft so then when you start getting towards the end of the hair you use your hair straightener and bob it in like you're just bending it inwards to face an inward direction that is what is going to allow you have that bob look so start from the top and take it all the way down you can re repeat this process over and over again until you achieve the perfect look that you want after working with one section of the hair proceed to go into the next line we already applied a heat protectant spray and argan oil on the entire hair on the lower section so it's just to start straightening the hair in very small sections walk your way from the up part and take it towards the tip of the hair and bob it in make sure you take your time you can see how beautiful and luscious and silk the strands are looking now that i'm straightening it one after the other unlike when i take a big section and straighten it guys this is the secret work with very small section is going to give you the best results ever especially when your hair straightener is not the hottest work with a very small section is going to give you the best results just look at how this hair looks very sleek and beautiful shiny healthy if your hair doesn't look as silk and straight as the one i'm styling while you're styling it you need to go back don't stop until you get the smoothest straightest silkiest silkiest straight hair that you can most people will work with that b section like that but don't be that don't be like them work with the tiniest section ever it's going to give you the best result ever i promise you so don't forget if you're getting value from this video please make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and share with your friend who are also going to get value out of it and please sis bro subscribe to my channel please subscribe so after we were finished working on this lower section of the hair i'm going to proceed to cut out a large section apply my argan oil serum apply my heat protectant spray and start working in small sections just like i did for the lower part of the hair and you can see right now that lower part of the hair that i've styled is giving all that it needs to give it's really looking very healthy beautiful 
you know patience is very essential for someone who styles hair because you need to be patient when you if you want to achieve a very good look i'm proceeding now to move over to the upper section of the hair and i'm using my hair clips and my tail comb to cut out the section of the hair and i clip the rest of the hair away on the up part to allow me work on this other side right here so i applied my moroccan argan oil serum to my palm and massaged it in and i'm applying it on the hair right now So excited we are almost completely done with this entire process so we are working with the hair around the closure area right now so repeat the process of moisturizing your hair with the argan oil serum or any other hair serum you have your heat protectant spray and straighten the hair in small section and continue to work in small section on the hair around the upper part of the closure until we get to the closure area it's really fascinating how your hair can go from looking how this hair originally looked to how it looks right now the hair transformation process is really amazing so long as you have the right tools the right products there's no way you won't be able to transform any ugly wig you have all you need is just the right styling tools and products and your wig would be as good as new don't forget to check out my website www.enrbeautyng.com to purchase my ebooks how to start your hair business hair extensions and how to test its quality you want to buy wigs from me also check out my website or possibly my instagram is more up to date on like my website like honestly like i struggle with the website thing but what you can really get from my website is my ebooks my vendor information if you are somebody who's looking for a hair supplier and you want to work with my hair supplier because you probably like the type of hairs that i sell on my own hair page on instagram so look at the type of hairs i sell on instagram then you know if it's the type of hair you want to sell if it's not the type of hair you want to sell please just leave my hair vendor information because the vendors i sell are the vendors that i use for my hair business so back to styling the hair you can see right now we are the closure area and we are almost wrapping up this video guys we are almost wrapping up this video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and like it and share with your friends who will get value from this video take note styling your wig is everything if you don't style your wigs well it wouldn't look as good as it should 
you don't invest money in buying hair and think that because oh you spend this money on this hair the hair is going to forever look like that it's impossible your natural hair needs to be styled and this hair was hair that was cut from somebody's head and made into a wig for you so you think that because she paid for it it means you don't have to style it you're absolutely wrong you need to also style your wigs you need to style your hair extensions your clippings because these hairs were cut from somebody so it also needs the same treatment that you give to your natural hair if you finish styling your bulb wig, you need to go back in with a clipper and clean out the ends to ensure that they're on the same level it looks clean and smooth so use a clipper and clean out the ends or if you have a very sharp scissors you can also use your scissors but it's a clipper i like to use so that's why i'm using this clipper so clean out the hair ends and you know that you we are done with the entire starting process of your wig you know you are done with the entire starting process of your wig so guys this is the finished look if you got value from this video please make sure you smash the like button and share this video with your friend who gets value out from it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel remember be bold have courage have a positive life i'll see you in the next video guys thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for subscribing and i wish you the very best in whatever it is that you do if you're somebody who is just starting out in the hair industry, keep on going no matter how difficult it seems.